people, welcome to the Sexy Vegan. Sorry pervs, no hot chicks here. Just good food that won't kill you. Let's rock. Today, we're going to be making some guacamole. And as you know, guacamole is made with avocados. So let's grab the avocados. Um, where are the avocados? Oh yeah, I was uh, messing around with them before. I put them over here. Oh, okay. That's hilarious. Very nice. Made of cock and balls. Sorry. Very good. Couldn't help myself. Okay. Anyway. These are avocados. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, there's lots of fat and calories and stuff in avocados. But what I like to say to those people is fuck off. Because these things are very good for you. They're packed with over 20 different nutrients, phytonutrients, vitamins, minerals, all good stuff. And it's fat, but it's natural fat, not saturated fat or transgender whatever fat all people are all in a tizzy about these days. But uh, these are very good for you and they're very tasty so you should definitely be eating these. Wonderful. In order to save time, I've already done all the prep, but we're going to cover it quickly in a little segment I like to call, Shit I Already Did. I started off by dicing up a half of a medium sized onion. I then seeded and finely diced a jalapeno pepper, and I also seeded and diced a Roma tomato. I then took a lime, rolled it around on the counter, cut it in half, and squeezed that bitch out. Finished off by finely dicing a half a handful of cilantro. And we're rolling. <laughs> Alright, well, the only thing we have to do is cut the avocados. Carefully slide the knife into the top of the avocado and rotate it around the pit. Then give the avocado a twist, then carefully hit the pit with the blade and give it a twist. Go in with the big spoon and scoop out all the good green stuff. Now how freaking easy is that? Okay, now, basically, I am just going to use my hands. Let me explain. Some people, for some reason, seem they need to use the food processor. They make it all smooth. I don't really understand that. Um, I don't use that for two reasons. One is, I like the texture better. Uh, if it's chunky and has a lot of, uh, you can taste the crunchy onions and everything in there. And also, too, then I don't have to clean the food processor. Uh, not that I would clean it right away anyway, since I tend to just let things kind of get crusty for a couple days. And it's much harder to clean that way, but I like the challenge. But uh, I recommend to you that you clean up immediately afterwards just to prevent bacteria, mold, fungus, all that kind of thing. And if you don't like cleaning, you can hire someone to do it or tell your wife to do it. See? Problem solved. All right. Let's rock this guac. Avocados in the bowl. In go the cilantro, uh, onions, and jalapenos. And the lime juice. A little bit of salt. Like that. Some fresh ground pepper. I then gently, but firmly, but gently, mash all the ingredients together, still leaving some pretty big chunks. And then I finally go in with the tomatoes, which I will gently fold in at the very end for some very fresh, very sexy guacamole. You know, there's nothing quite like getting together with some friends over some fresh guacamole, tortilla chips, and a good Mexican beer. Like Carlsberg. If you want to contact me and tell me how badly my show sucks, you can email me at blowme at gofuckyourself.com. If you want to tell me how awesome I am, you can email me at the address that's going to appear somewhere on this screen because I haven't set it up yet. Thank you for joining us today at the Sexy Vegan. And remember, 